Hey there, it's Jake here. Have you ever been stuck with a blacklisted IMEI or a bad ESN on your phone? You're not alone. Now I know there are tons of services and software out there claiming to help you out, but let's be honest, they may not always be the safest or the cheapest option out there. And sometimes they just don't work. But don't worry, I've got your back. In this video, I'm going to show you a few quick, safe, and absolutely free ways to remove that nasty blacklist from any iOS or Android device. So hang tight and let's dive right in. Just a quick reminder, this info is only for folks who really own their devices, but have just forgotten their access details. We're not here to help anyone sneak around security on devices that aren't theirs. Let's keep things legal and respect everyone's rights. This video follows all the rules set by YouTube, so rest easy. Now that we're clear on that, let's get back to it. All right, so let's talk about some of the options out there to help you out with a blacklisted IMEI or a bad ESN. Now remember, this is just for educational purposes. I'm here to guide you, not to push anything. First up, we've got Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app, a super smart tool that can assist when you're battling with a blacklisted device. It's kind of like having a tech guru right by your side. Then there's Safe Unlocks, another solid solution in the mix. These guys have been around the block and know a thing or two about getting you back in control of your device. And let's not forget about ES and Doctor. They're all about helping you to remove that blacklist status from your device. You can think of them as the tech doctors working to get your phone back up and running smoothly. But hey, it's about more than just knowing these options. The real magic happens when you learn how to use them. Stay tuned because up next, we'll walk you through using Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Now there's something really important you need to know about these unlock services. They mainly work in first world countries. If you're somewhere you can't access these services, or maybe you'd rather not use them, worry not. We've got you covered. We provide 250 free unlocks every single week for users who watch our videos. But how do you get in on this? It's simple. First, smash that like button on this video. Next, hit subscribe. And finally, drop a comment with your device model. Say it's a Samsung S9, your IMEI, and your country. That's it. Once you've done these steps, you're automatically entered into the running for the free unlocks. It's as easy as that. Good luck. Ready to unlock your device? Here's what you need to do. First, open up your browser on either your phone or computer. Head over to unlockhere.com. This will take you directly to the official AI unlocking website to remove the blacklist on your IMEI. Greet Nifty, the smart tool developed by the Unlock Here team, and pick the Fix IMEI blacklist option. Just scroll down a bit and you'll see it. Next, start filling out the steps on the app. Select your device brand first. Remember, most big and medium-sized brands are compatible with the app. Click Next after you've selected the brand. Next up, punch in the IMEI or serial number of your device. If you need help with how to get this, don't worry. There's a handy tutorial right in the app. Basically, you'll need to go into your phone's dial and press asterisk number sign 06 number sign. A pop-up will show on your device with all the necessary information, including the IMEI number. Now, provide some contact information. Your name and email address will do, so they know where to send the unlock details. And of course, don't forget to agree to the terms and conditions. If anything seems unclear, check out the resources for extra info. After your request is processed, an email with your unlock details will land in your inbox. It usually takes about 5 to 15 minutes to arrive. Keep an eye on your spam or promotions folder just in case. Lastly, activate your order. This is done by copying your verification code from the email, then clicking on Confirm My Order. Paste the code on the page, complete the CAPTCHA, and finalize by clicking on Validate Info and Start Unlock. And that's it, you're done! Nifty will take over and wrap up the unlocking process. Just pop in a compatible SIM card and restart your device. As demonstrated, the IMEI unlock method proves to be highly effective, not only for the Samsung S9, but also for a wide range of devices. You can go ahead and give it a try with confidence, and feel free to inspect your device to ensure everything is running smoothly. If anything trips you up along the way, don't hesitate to chat with live support. They're ready and waiting to help you out. All right, guys, ready to explore some more alternative ways to remove a carrier blacklist? There are a few legit methods to get this done, and I'm here to share these with you. Remember, we're not going for quick fixes, but rather safe, reliable, and legal routes. One method involves contacting the carrier directly. Now, I know it sounds simple, but many people overlook this. The carrier can remove the blacklist if the issue that caused the blacklist is resolved. Another method is paying off any unpaid balance or settling any disputes with the carrier. 
If your device was blacklisted due to a defaulted payment, clearing your balance can lift this. Here's another tip. Third-party services. Companies like Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app, Safe Unlocks, and ESN Doctor can assist with this, and they're all pretty user-friendly. But always remember to choose trusted, reputable services to avoid any unpleasant surprises. Keep in mind that this info is for those who genuinely own the device and have just unfortunately run into some troubles. So there you have it. You're now armed with some handy and legal tricks to remove a carrier blacklist. Stay tuned for more useful videos. Remember, our goal is to give you the best solutions out there. Swing by soon for more tips on how to make technology work better for you.